Welcome back, guys. Episode 11 of That's Racing. Just stop. <laughs> it's all about you today, mate. So I think it's... I'm trying not to make it pro- prob- Probably appropriate for someone else to make the introduction. Go on, Zeta. Right, do you go. want me to do it or yep. remind us? No, Zeta, you're you're right. I'm happy you to are the voice of the most. Hey, guys, you guys are very loud just saying... Happy, happy to take the honours. Well, welcome back to another episode of That's Racing, episode 11. Da Racing. Da Racing. Hey, why you butter? Episode 11. Yeah. Episode 11. Wow. Yeah. Time flies when you're having fun. We've got Romanos who actually made it tonight because oh. his car's getting donored, ready for roll racing. He told me his donor we get tonight to take out the whole Matul crew on Saturday. And we've got not Mac, true. who's here. And to take out Matuk himself as well. Well, not, I think not, we're not getting true. a little carried away now. We've got a lot to talk about. All right. And I'm sure these are one of the things that we can talk about at the end of the show. But for those of you that are tuning in or for those of you that have watched our last few episodes, you would have noticed that a lot of the um, subjects been about introducing the individual people on the show. And the I've had an opportunity to speak. Max had an opportunity to speak. And now we've got Ashraf. Hey. You look stressed. It's yeah. Nah, I'm just trying to remember all my life. <laughs> it's so fitting, though, oh, for the occasion. It's his birthday. Well, it was his it birthday. It was his birthday, I should say. Happy birthday, man. Thanks, Happy birthday, man. man. Thanks for getting old. 31. Wow. 31? 30. Yeah. Who would have thought? Like, someone who knows <laughs> I'm born in 1993 would know. No, I meant like, who would have thought you'd make it that far, mate? <laughs> the, amount of, the amount of people that you've lowballed and the amount of pe- <laughs> people. Excuse that, me. They have not been lowballed. They've had genuine offers that may be lower than their expectations. Yeah. Right. Okay. Is that what you call it? <laughs> That's his way of justifying <laughs> yeah. it. Well, yeah, considering it's what it is. Oh. So apart from the lowballing, right, which we've already just touched on briefly. Which is what everyone knows, knows, of, him. Uh, yeah, knows of him. So Yes, for sure. That's, that's so let, how let, I knew let, you, I guess. What, what do, <laughs> I've lowball. never lowballed you. Huh? I've never lowballed you. You just, you just go on you, Facebook and you read comments of people saying, oh, there's that guy that lowballs everyone. Yeah. You yeah. have lowballed me. Yes. <laughs> give me a taste of your own medicine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so give us a little bit about yourself. Where, where, how did uh, racing start for you? or how, how, How's it evolved? Not just racing, but how did you get into the cars, cars in general? In general yeah. Yeah. yeah, I suppose. Well, started off back in year nine. <coughs> year nine. Year nine. Um... My dad always, well, not always, but he had bought and sold cars and whatever. So it's a family business. I, I was just, I was looking up to my dad. I'm like, oh, he buys and sells cars. It looks fun. Like, I used to go with him and I learned cars. I learned how to use a street directory oh, back wow. then and all that. Before the TomTom Tom navigators days? came out. Oh, wow. You had to have one in your car. Yeah. And yeah. I'd update them every year. But before that happened, I, I didn't know how to update it. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what happened in, in year nine? It was my birthday, so it was approximately this time, that many years ago, I don't know how many years ago that is. I was 14 years old. So 17 Burners. years ago. Is that 17? Yes. Oh, I was 17. I mean, I was <laughs> 14. 14, but 17 years ago. And back then you'd get like birthday money or whatever. I had $700. Oof. And I'm like, what am I going to do with it? My dad goes to me, says, why don't you buy a car and make yourself a bit more money? So back then I jumped on the uh, trading post. The oh, newspaper. Oh, 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 way. newspaper or was it digital nah, then? Nah, it was nah. both, but I used the paper because that's what he had used. Yeah, yeah. Jumped online and there was a, I remember it was a Nissan N13 Pulse, like Nissan Q. And it was 1500 bucks. Got him down to 700, that's all I had. I got to my dad, do you want to take me to pick it up? So my dad and his mate would take me because I had no one to drive it home. Went, bought the car, got home. Did you negotiate the price on the phone? Or did yeah, you no, negotiate the, the price when you're there? On the phone. On the phone. Yeah, because it saves yourself the time. I, I knew you got to save time. Ah, so you knew this at an early yeah, age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So wow. what about if you get these people that would sometimes, nah, come and see the car before we negotiate. I'd never go. You wouldn't go? I wouldn't go because they're the type of people that will waste your time when you get there. <laughs> and then negotiate probably $500. They probably, they probably think you, he's the type of person that's wasting that's their that, time. <laughs> that's the guy that he's talking about now. <laughs> so did you figure this out straight away? Obviously, it took a bit of time for you to understand how, how things worked in that's, buying and selling. So I, I just messaged that guy. And I got it for 700 picked it up, got home. But he had it advertised for 1500 Yeah, I saw I would half his price. <laughs> well, so that's more than so half. So it's in his DNA. Yeah. He's been like this since the get-go. <laughs> yeah, this is what I'm trying to get at. It's always been like that. Half. And then I bought hubcaps on it, got home, I washed it, put it for sale, and I got 2150 So straight away? You didn't... Two days. Wow. And I'm like, 
Now I'm a kid in year nine who's 14 years old who just got two grand. Wow. Doing nothing. And a 5110. What phone did I... I think I had the Nokia with the four lights on the side. You know the ones that colourful on the sides? Do you remember them? They used to change colours? No. Uh, they had rubber lights on each side of it. No, yeah, never seen it. I'll, I'll find the photo and put it up. <laughs> um, after that, I was at school. I was on my phone and on eBay. And I found a Suzuki Swift GDI. And I won the bidding. And I won for 800 bucks. It was in Mandrua. And at the time I lived in Blacktown. So I go, I'll go to Mandrua after school with my dad. Pick it up, come back home. So could you go pay for things in cash from eBay? Because I don't think that's allowed. <laughs> that, that, now, but back then, yeah, yeah, could, the, the guy, the guy gives you a... Uh, back then, I think the guy messaged me his number so I can get his address. Uh, and I told okay. him I'll come see you. Well, he happened. just told me at the time, I actually remember, he goes, it was a footy night. And he goes, bring 750 and a case of beer. <laughs> hey. So that's exactly what I've done. Went to his house, gave him a case of beer. I locked the Swift, drove it home, and I put it, washed it, detailed it, whatever, put it for sale, and got free ground for it. No Ooh. way. So now I'm like, oh, wow. You're onto handy. something. Yeah. There you go. So, so automatically in two cars, that nine t- uh, in year nine is up 3,600 bucks. Yeah, he's made five grand from a $700 investment. Pretty good. So yeah. from that day, it's just. <coughs> went and bought another one, bought an N14 uh, Pulsar Q with a two liter in it. Can I ask you before we go, how proud was your father at that time? Are you still not proud? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to get to that, but I was going to say at that point, he would have probably thought to himself, him. because I, I mean, like, you know, I don't like I remember back, back then, like, my dad would be busy and I'm like, all right, I want to go look at this car. So he would drop whatever, have to pick up his mate, because none of my mates at, the, at my age could drive. Uh, so he'd waste his time, his mate's time, just to go take me to buy a car, come back home. Well, that's lot. And then, but there was times where you'd go four or five cars and not buy them. It's just like, okay, so he, get over it. He did, he did all this. Did you ever throw him something? Yeah, any, any petty money? Did you no, ever? Back then, no. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, nothing's changed. <laughs> oh, a lot's changed. So in between that, I went and got a job, mm-hmm. as you might have all known. I got a job at McDonald's. <laughs> Maccas, I didn't know this. Yeah, yeah. When, I, when I turned... Wait four, till four, you hear the job at Woolies, mate. But we'll get to that. <laughs> when I so what, what made you want to work at Maccas? Like you're selling cars, you're making money. Well, What's... my mum said, why don't you get a job? Okay. And like you have two monies. <laughs> two <Yeah>. monies. Two, <laughs> <laughs> two incomes. Well, really, I was going to slow down on the cars. I didn't take it serious, but I just done a couple of them, like three of them. And what happened with the third car was hit by the hail storm in 07. I think it was 07. And I broke even. So that's a dumb way hitting. Yeah, that's it. Didn't like it. So the whole car got hailed and I didn't lose anything. But like I didn't make anything, so it's like, huh. Oh, Waste of time. Yeah. So then I got the job. Went to Maccas uh, in West Point, Blacktown. Five shifts. <laughs> the first three were incident reports. <laughs> <laughs> then they just put me on washing the, the trays back then. <clears throat> then just never got shifts. I didn't get fired. Just never got shifts. What did you do? Do we, do we want to know what you did wrong? Yeah, like, what, what were the incidents? Oh, they're fucking stupid. Like, you think about it now, they're just dumb. Oh, we need to know. First, first, first day. You know, you cook the patties and all that. The stove. They go to me, all right, we're going to close up. And the guy's teaching me to close. He goes, all right, you got to take like, the cover thing off. So you got to clean them, take all the oil. He, I forgot the part where you turn off the stove. <laughs> So I, I leant over to grab it and my arm burnt from being on the stove. So you're going to instrument yeah. report for burning uh, yourself. Uh, yes. So you should not be in the kitchen. <laughs> this is what they figured out yeah. before me. They should have done a risk assessment on you. <laughs> I think they did. <laughs> then the second incident report, I was taking the McChickens out of the hot oil. Mm. And I was taking it up with this hand and then it didn't click. Like it was slipping. Still didn't click that it, that's oil. So I put it on this hand to rest it so I can grab it. Oh, wow. So the same hand got burnt again the next Friday. Because this was Friday after Friday. Friday after that was the third incident report. I was went to get the nuggets out of the freezer. I didn't put the <coughs> shoes on. Walked straight in, fell on my ass. <laughs> You're a walking hazard. Next week after that, she goes to me, just stay in the kitchen. And the trays come in, just wash the trays in. Put the trays. I've done two trays sessions and then never got hired again. <laughs> How did you feel at that time? I felt good to never get fired. Is that the first <laughs> time you ever had a job? That was my first job. I was 14 and months. So then I go, all right, I want to try Woolies. I got the job at Woolies. I was checkout chick. <laughs> 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 the 
counter. And then I started realizing like, a couple of people came in. It was normal. Then people would come with fruits. I don't know what they're called. So I just put them in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Before and, you know it, the checkout line's Woody's, out the door. <laughs> Woody's used to give me three shifts a week. <clears throat> but by the second week, they knew that there's something wrong because <laughs> my line was through the oil. <laughs> and the sale of bananas was through the roof. <laughs> so everyone would know, like, or lack you know, if you scan something once and it doesn't scan, it's going in the back. It's not going back out. Anything <laughs> fruit or vegetable, if I didn't know what it was caught, I was not looking for it because I didn't know what it is. So it was just like straight in the bag. Is that okay to make that admission online It's fucking now, 14 or? years no, later. It's yeah, 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 fine now. Her it's name, all right now. My manager at the time, I still remember her name, VJ. She wasn't happy with me. So then, same thing at Macca's. They didn't get fires, never got shifts. <laughs> <laughs> Politely. Politely. Booty job. So then what happened? I went back home, told my parents, I'm not getting any more work. Like, it's been two weeks. That's when my mum knew that there was no hope in me. <laughs> and I was just going to school for the sake of it. Like, I finished year 12, but I was just going for the sake of it. So now we're in year nine still. And then I found... It was a couple more cars I've bought and sold. I go, I want to get back into the cars. And the main car that kicked me off was my dad was taking me, my cousin, to go pick up a car. I found the N14 Triple S, red, white, Diablo's on it. Heck, five grand back then. I'm like, I'll buy it. I'll sell it for seven. Heck, do you have pixel up? No, because I never bought it. So on the way, we're driving. I remember this, we're in Reservoir Road, Blacktown. I'm at the set of lights. I look left and there's a 99 model, house of colour purple, S14, cat eye. It's the one we got the photos of. So if you want to show the photos. Can we bring them photos up? Of the purple 200SX. <coughs> this thing. So was somebody driving the car or was it parked no, on the side parked, of the road? it was parked for sale. Oh, yeah, okay, so old school. They've got the sign up. They've got the sign up. Yeah. So it was in front of the guy's house. Okay, he's got it in his driveway, but he's got the for sale on the front window. Yeah. I go to my dad, let's go look at it. And like in Arabic, he swore at me, like, you don't even have the money, why am I going to waste our time? <laughs> in anyway, Arabic or I, Egyptian? It's the same. It's the same. same. Yeah. Just different yeah. dialogue or? Yeah, it's quite different it's dialogue. It's like moustache beard. It's, like, it's not the same. Similar. Still Similar. <laughs> <laughs> so we got down, we got this S14, it had white trim, stock wheels, like shit wheels, inner cooler exhaust, like hectic. Where's the photos? But he had it up for. 18 and a half thousand. So how much how much cash you got in ya? Five grand. You got five grand on ya. Yeah. So got five grand cash on me. That's the car there. Had the cutout front bar with vertex body kit on it. And it's taken with uh, Nokia with one of the first <laughs> yeah, cameras. As you can huh? see, how old the photo. <laughs> yeah. like a fucking Polaroid yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know them Kodak uh, yeah. click things. So, so that uh, was the shit, huh? This was 18,500 advertised at the time. Guy was, to, was two Indians. And I remember this because on the headdress it had his name, which was Vashu in purple. <laughs> anyway, this is when the moment that hit me that I am going to be a negotiator and I'm going to do this for the rest of my life. I got him from 18,500 to 10. Just by talking to him. Then I went home. To see if I could buy something quickly and make the money and go back to get it. So I started messaging the guy again. Turns out he needed an urgent sale. He needs money. One, two, three. I go, can I come drive the car? Because I've never driven it. So I went back with my dad and his mate. And I drove the car. I was 15 at the time. Drove around the block. And I could hear like a shh sound. I go, man, the engine's blown. He goes, what do you mean? I go, see all that sound and whatever? I go, the engine's blown. So he doesn't know that it's not blown. And I don't know anything. I'm just talking shit. <laughs> Ended up getting the car for four grand. No way. <laughs> wow. Four grand. Yeah. I made my dad drive it home. <laughs> Parked it in my driveway. And I go, all right, well. Was the motor blown? No. I'll, just, I'll get to that. Okay. Back then, my cousin, he liked cars. He was older than me. And he goes to me, oh, do you want to take it to Rocco's Performance? in St. Mary's. I had no idea who anyone was with cars. I go, yeah, let's go. Took it to Rocco's performance. Their front intercooler had a crack like that. So that was just a boost leg. Mm. I go, all right, well, while it's here, can you put a soft clutch in it so I can learn how to drive manual? Because I wasn't that great at the clutch and it was heavy. 
Got a soft clutch, spent two grand. I remember it. Went back home, put the car for sale for 20 grand. Guy, guy rings me up, mate, I'll give you 16,000. We'll love the car, blah, blah. I, I bought a set of rules for it as well. I go, fuck, 16 grand, as me six. I go, yeah, come down. He came on a Thursday morning before I went to school. <coughs> I go, man, can you hurry it up? I, go, I gotta go back to school. See that? Bought the car, 16 grand, see you later. So that was your first wow. big transaction? That was my first, like, massive transaction. Yeah. Like, I went from buying a triple S for five <coughs> grand to buying that for four grand. So that moment in your life has made you. This animal, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right now. <laughs> that, well, you that, said it. What was his name? Vashu? Vashu. Vashu. Vashu started it all. Vashu started it all. <laughs> started it all. <laughs> so that, that's. How that's impressive. Like, from eight and a half grand down to four, you did well. Yeah. yeah I, I, you did very well. Well, for $700. Dollars. Yeah. You think yeah. about it. Yeah. Well, I mean, we've established that that was a light bulb moment for you. From then? So now I had 16 grand to buy cars. I can see where the whole hmm. people advertise cars for 500 and he offers 100 comes from. Yeah. 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 Because from he's beginning. still in that mindset. It comes from, from the beginning. Well, <laughs> 2014. <laughs> it, it, it happened. Like it worked. <laughs> And then obviously I bought a couple more cars in between, but at that time now I had 16,000. Oh. So I bought my first S15. I don't have a photo of it, but I'll try to find one. Pearl white for 13 grand. How old are you now? Now, 31. No, then. <laughs> <laughs> um, 15, as, as I still didn't have my L's. Okay, so we're still 15. Yeah. Fuck, so things have moved quickly. Yeah, because the there's, a, there's a couple of, of cars in between, like a Ford Laser that yeah. made 500, a yeah, SX Corolla, yeah. like the shit, the charades. Then we started getting older. Then I got to the S15, I was on my else. So I bought that and my mate test drove it and I thought he knows like what he's talking about. Then I go to, all right, I'll drive it home with my dad. It was on my else. Bought the car and the car drove like dog shit. And I'm looking at the rear wheel, it's bent out. Uh. So I was on... Took it to Petters in Blacktown and they quoted me 3800 because bent control arm, bent this, bent that. I'm like, what? 3800 and then I'm like, that means I'll go broke. <laughs> At that time there, that's when like, you see everyone cruising Queen Street, two SAS custom bodyworks, you see them cruising. <coughs> yeah. I said to myself, I'm going to call Queen Street and see if they'll fix this car because I had to paint the front bar. Yeah, it rang him. Yep, yeah, my, my name's Ashraf123. So this is now 16. This is back when he was at Punchbowl, PSR day. Yeah, yeah. Drove, met Maui. Drove, he goes, come down on a Saturday. We're having a barbecue, come down. I'm like, full sicker, I don't even know him. Went with my cousin so I can drive the car. He looked at it. He goes, man, don't stress. I'll look after you. He goes, You're, you sound like a good kid. He goes, he, done, he painted the front bar, the side skirts, and fixed the control of everything for 700 bucks. Wow. <laughs> So that's where the relationship with Queen Street So that's started. how I met Queen Street. <coughs> and then continued buying and selling cars. So when was the next significant moment? Like, Well, you, skip, you obviously skip a few years. Yeah. I became close with Queen Street, became mates. And he um, took me in his brandy wine 360 Ferrari. I remember that car. He, I, had, I, had, yeah. I was still on my L's. So this is later on in that year. He gave me the keys. He goes, drive it to my house. He goes, I'll jump in with you. And I was excited. I'm driving a fucking Ferrari at 16. Drive it to his house. Okay, that's it. I'm like, I need one of these cars in my life one day. Okay, that was the aim. Because before that, my dream car in between was a 33 GDST Series 2 in Maroon. Because my older cousin had one. So that was my dream car. But that I bought at 15, somewhere in the cars. For 6,000 as well. Anyway, so fast forward a few years, I finished year 12 and Maui took me to my formal in the white QSC Ferrari, the Spider. Do you remember? Yep. Mm. Is that the one that had the flames on it? Or had, no, red interior, red interior. <coughs> yeah, who the fuck has... That was around to not long ago, eh? It's, it's around till now. That's the car there. Oh, yeah. yeah. So they had 22s in the back, exhaust, 20s in the yeah, front. It was hot. Yeah, it was fucking hot. Yeah, It was sick. So I was at my formal, he took me in that car and I got him one day, I'm gonna own this car. Buy my next birthday, so now I'm on my <coughs> green piece. I made a deal with him and I bought that car off him. That was my first, 
Because I had bought and sold cars in between. Two, okay, I tip more aim is I have to make enough money to buy that car. That was my first wow. So what did you pay for that? Back then, 70000 Fuck. Oof. That's cheap. It is. But at the same time, it's like a lot of money for but, a 16-year-old. Yeah, for a 16-year-old. Well, I had bought cars in that time that made the same money as the S14. Like I bought yeah, a few okay. S15s. I bought like dumb shit. Like, I can't even remember half. Like, at a stage, I bought... I went, me and my mates, I go to them, I want to go buy every charade on the market, smiley face. I go, and I want to control the charade market. <laughs> I've got a photo somewhere on my phone. I will get this photo. I went and bought eight smiley face charades. We drove them all to KK's and I put a liquidation sign sticker on the front and packed all eight together. <laughs> then I, none obviously sold at KK's, but I took them all home. But every charade made me about two grand. Wow. And I controlled the market. Wholesale. Back then. Let's see if we get out of wholesale. Yeah. Because everyone, everyone who wanted a charade <laughs> had to call Ashraf. Go look online. Oh, it's yeah. Ashraf. Oh, every color. That's how I met um, Ibi Naja. I hate seven. He bought a charade off me. No way. Fuck a blue no. one, yeah. So that led up to all the cars. <laughs> In between, I still also had the Leica G6 Evo, the brandy wine with the gold Simmons, if you remember it. Yeah. I had bought that. I'd sold that. I had an A36 show car in year 12, which was on the front cover of Hot Fours. Bought that, sold that. Like, bought that for 15, sold it for 35 in year 12. Were you like the cool kid in school? Did everyone sort of like you or hated you? Oh, I wasn't hated, but I wouldn't say like I was fucking popular. I had went to an old guy's school. We all, we all got along. It was a sports school, as you could tell, like, I'm fit. <laughs> <laughs> His body's a temple. We'll talk about his uh, training well, regime. We'll talk about my eggplant look. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, bought the Ferrari, and then Maui goes to me. Since you bought the Ferrari, and like me and him became close, he goes, "Do you want to start doing weddings with it?" Because he had just started doing weddings himself, where no one had supercars for weddings. I go, "Yeah, well, this is now I have finished school. <clears throat> I go, I'm buying and selling cars. I'll start weddings." So then we started cranking weddings, me and me and Maui. And is this when you bought the rolls? A year into it, Maui had bought his rolls off Kyle Sanderlands. Oh yeah. And then I'm like, fuck, this is the next aim. I need a rolls. At 20, 20, 21, I found this phantom for sale. And me and my mate, I go, listen, I'm my best mate, still one of my best mates till now. I go, do you want to buy this car with me? Because at the same time, there was a bargain, Mercilago LP640, a black one. And I couldn't afford to buy both. Oh, Is that the one, that's one with the gold wheels, yeah? Yeah, I've got the photos of it, the, the <coughs> black Lamborghini with the gold wheels. So this car, this Lambo, before I get into the rolls, had a Liberty War kit minus the flares, so he doesn't want to cut up the car. It was airbagged all around. Had uh, AG forged wheels, gold-plated dishes. Yeah. Uh, Army Tricks exhaust, that that car there. Wow, yeah. sick. And like that car, the way it looked. Zoom in a bit. No, oh, that's a better photo, I think. That's no, that's, that's not the photo. That's, <laughs> that's where it probably ended up. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's a nice car. Did that, and I needed to buy that car because I knew how much money I could make in that car. But at the same time, the Rolls was there too, so that's. My mate said, I'll go halves with you, no problem. He, he saw, he had the faith in me, knowing what I'm going to do he's with the potential. Yes. Yeah. And he's always helped me kids throughout, are throughout, throughout my whole life. He's always helped me. So we bought the rolls and we started doing weddings with us. And I had the Ferrari and the rolls, so which is the white Phantom, yeah. which now my mate actually owned because I sold it to him. You just sold that recently, isn't it? That's yeah, the so one, I've, yeah, I've had that since I was 21, 20 years. I've had it for 10 years. That's the one that you just sold recently to Peter? Yeah. So Peter owns that car now. Wow. Oh, you had it for a long time. 10 years. Wow. It was out it, back then when we were making big money in weddings compared how, to now. How because much no one was doing them back then, right? Pardon? How much did you pay for yeah, that? Yeah, good question. Oh, I can't disclose that. No? <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> Peter might listen to oh. this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Pete. But you got a bargain as, as usual. For that time? For that time? Yes, because it sold for around what I got it now. Oh, really? 
It makes yeah. sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So yeah. back then, so in other words, you drove it for ten years, made money out of it, and then didn't lose money on the sale. So no, I realistically, lost, I lost money. I okay. lost money. Ten but grand. The car owes you nothing. Great investment. The money that you made from the wedding, you would have made heaps from the weddings. Because yeah. back then, no one was doing them. It was ten years. You guys would have had a back, back then. I, I remember me and Maui, we used to charge for a wedding three, three and a half grand. Wow. And you'd be out Saturday, Sunday. Eight. Seven green. So, and you pay your driver two hundred bucks. We, I guess you never look for a job when you're making this much money for cars, grand, and, then you're doing, and you're doing weddings now. Why would yeah. you? So my whole life go seven, looking for a job now. True. Hundred percent. I go. I can't you, work for someone. You keep doing what you're doing. 100%. I started, I worked at a card for about three months just to get the paperwork side right. Yeah. Okay. To learn, you wanted to. So I wanted your to skills. learn to learn. All right, how do I do paperwork? What comes with it? He yeah. wanted to hone his skills. That's and a good word. I, really, I, I was working for a hundred dollars a day. So like hundred dollars a day. What like card a was tiger. it? Uh, <laughs> like it was, a tiger. It was uh, <laughs> called Nagra Autos in Minchinbury Car City. <laughs> Did you learn what you needed to in the three months? Yeah, and I bought a lot of cars while being there by myself. <laughs> <laughs> All the trade-ins. Yeah, uh, and I win, realized, win. I, I realized at that time that I wanted to get into the bigger cars and to everything bigger because you'd make. By, by bigger, you mean like supercars. Just or even Hiluxes, like anything that okay. wasn't cheap because at the start of my So you're moving trip. on from, from the charades now? Because with a dealer's license, if I sold this guy a Camry and then it's got high kilometers and tomorrow it breaks down, I have to fix it. Okay. <laughs> but if you have a better car, yeah. you're you not going to have a problem. You don't have that problem. That's what I learned being mm. that because at that dealership, all we sold was cars under two grand. And out of every 10 cars we sold, nine we had to fix. Yeah, okay. It was a headache. So then I knew what I wanted to do. Oh, like yeah. I wanted to get into Prestige or JDM. Slowly, slowly. Yeah, yeah. So in that time, I bought my first 34 <laughs> JDR. And but, wow. back then, it was a black V-Spec paid. There's a photo, I think, of it. Black 34. I paid $24,000. Wow. And I sold it through Top Secret Imports yeah. for 48 grand. And I thought I killed it. That's how I met them, and like we've become good mates since. Wow, killed it! Imagine you knew. Imagine what now. I knew back then. Now that car'd be <coughs> two hundred plus. Mm. But Fuck. really, it was good back then. So I kept the rolls, done weddings, um, kept the Ferrari for about another year. Then I sold it. Sold the Mercedes. Why? Because I knew the money that was in it. So you done didn't, well on that one too. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. And then between selling those two cars, <coughs> now I've like the money I made between it was like doubled what I originally started with buying it. So, so the, the the ball's well and truly moving now. It's on a roll. So now at that time I was twenty two. The pockets are getting full. Yes, now he's got stock. <laughs> he's got stock now. Yeah. So yeah. twenty two years old, <coughs> sold both cars. Rolling in it. Now it's like your dad's got to be proud of you now, right? Yeah, that's when he started realizing. Son, he keep doing something. what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't have to give him a headache anymore because I had to go get my own cars now. He won't come with me. And then, um, just can we stop there for a sec? What's your dad say when you rock up every day with like a new supercar? It's probably used to it by now. Does um, he like, does he ever just stop? He doesn't like any of them. He doesn't? He likes, like, I rocked up home in the Tirana because he used to have a Tirana when I was young. So it he brought him it. memories. Yeah. When I come home in an RX3 and I tell him, listen, I'm doing one, two, three, or it's already like, like if I rock up in the coop and he looks at it and he goes, why did you spend that much money on that car? Mm. He goes, back in the days, that's only $2,000. <laughs> yeah. I go, yeah, $2,000 <laughs> gets us fuel and cast oil. Yeah, <laughs> straight up. So in that whole time, I started buying and selling cars. I go, I wanted to enjoy myself a bit, but at the same time, make money. Yeah. So I started buying or trying to buy modified cars, mm -hmm. which is S15s, JDRs. <coughs> so this is where it leads into this racing. This is where I came into racing. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. I bought a VO Calais Turbo in a morning blue. That's where everyone starts, eh? Hey? <laughs> yeah, dude, it seems like it. Yeah. Not me. Yeah, no? you said you had one. I had one. I didn't start then. Well, yeah, well, shut off. He's a bit different. He's a bit shut retarded. Off. He builds drag cars. <laughs> <laughs> Straight cars. So uh, I bought this VO and I took it to a mechanic in Blacktown because I had a blown gearbox. He fixed the gearbox and it was still blown. <laughs> That's what happened. So he's just like, well, what happened? He goes, oh, I don't know. I'm like, well, just fixed it. Anyway, that's another story. And back then, you'd say the name of Tooks. So I rang up Anthony. He was at Condor Park. Go, hey, man, why I got a VL, need a gearbox. It was a Jetco. Drop it off. Dropped it off. 
I remember meeting him a couple of times and I seen him at the track when he used to race Queen Street's Gemini. So I'd go with Queen Street to watch them race a Gemini and whatever. And then became close with Anthony. So he had fixed my VL. Then we became just mates. So there was no cars involved. And then one of his customers, who's our mate now, Brendan, had a VL for sale. 750 horsepower, two-speed power glide, nine-inch, perfect car. I go and buy that car. Bought that car, done power cruise, <coughs> you name it. Raped it. The car would not break. And mind you, this is about seven years ago, eight years ago. It's still going to today with the same engine, same everything. Wow. Okay. Which one's that? The white one. Uh, my mate here owns it in Maryville. Okay. He takes it out every week because the burnout packs it up. It's still going. <laughs> So I bought it off Brendan or whatever, and then we're at Amp Shop. And this is when he debuted Street King, <coughs> the white 32. Yep, yep, yep. So we're in what, 2015 now? now? 15, I think, 16. Yeah, 15, 16. Yeah. <coughs> so he was servicing the VL, and he goes, I'll take it for a drive on the GDR, jump in. Okay, yeah, hectic. I have never shat myself. <laughs> yeah. I like that. I go, <laughs> but the car made 1,000 horsepower. My VL makes 750, 800. Why does this feel like this? Why does yeah. this feel like this yeah. and that feels like that? Yeah. I think we've, yeah, we've, 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 we've all, all been all victims. Yes, yeah. 100%. We've all it's had fun. that feeling. <laughs> but yeah. one car is doing a burnout and the other car like this. Yeah. Ninja. I, I, didn't, like, I couldn't break. Yeah. I go, what the fuck is this shit? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I go, ha. I need this. Yeah, I want it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I go to F, I want to sell this VL, I'm going to buy a Dreddy up. Anyway, so I put the V off for sale, sold it, sold straight away. In between, still buying and selling cars, whatever, left, right and centre. And frees me one day. He goes, you got money, ready? Yeah. He's yeah. all know how Am speaks. He goes, i got the perfect car for you. He goes, it's Street King setup. All you have to do is paint the car. It's trimmed, engine's running, whatever, car's black. Like, it's black, you should have freshened it up. The car's already at Queen Street. <coughs> I go, yeah. Hectic. Transferred in money, went to Queen Street, painted the car black, fit it all up, made, put on a dyno, car made just under 1200 horsepower, like 1150. Is that a, what's that, Kulkara? Yeah, the original Kulkara. Ah, I remember that one. So, bought the car and no intention of racing, ever. Like, I got to F, can you go race it? Fuck. Bro, what? I, need, I needed a video to play today. Which video? The one in the building. Rami's one. Which one? The the one on the back of the tow truck. <laughs> <laughs> the Anzac Day. Uh, Have you seen it? No. Oh, oh, look, you can always put that in later. Bro. <laughs> Brother, it's a two minute video, you can't put it on. Well. So, fast forward, I'm driving the GDR, I go street cruising, I go racing, meet. I'm in a fucking. I'm enjoying myself. Enjoying myself. Like, <laughs> learn how to, I've never driven a GDR, it's fast. Like, I, that was the car. Like auto too, that car? Auto, turbo 400, yep. 76, 75 wheel turbo, 3.2. Fast car. Yeah. And I've never driven anything that fast. <laughs> Were you drag racing? You drag racing? On the street. The... Oh, so you, you haven't taken it down the quarter I've yet? I've never been to the quarter mile in my life. St okay. I've never raced at Eastern Creek. Yeah. And Amph goes, go race it. It was a Wednesday night. I go, no way in the world. Like, I'm scared. I go, you race it. I go, I'll give you the car. You go race it. Give me the number so I can sell it. He goes, and then we had a group chat, all of us, and this guy and Rami were thrashing me. Ah, you weak cunt, you can't drive your own car, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and Ev rang me, I remember, this is true. I remember one morning I'm at the gym, and Ev rings me, he goes, tonight, it was a Wednesday, he goes, you're racing your car. I don't give a fuck. Go get fuel, meet me at the shop, we'll give the car a hit in the donut, and we're going straight to the track. I go, man, I'm not a race. <laughs> he goes, we're going to shut these cunts up, I'm going to make the car work. He goes, I guarantee you. <laughs> he goes, you just listen and it's going to be sweet. I'm like, oh, all right, sweet. Nervous as shit. <laughs> Drove the car to the track. He goes, I've taken power out. This is a big car just to go to the, you know, for your first time at the drags. Yeah, and I think it was the second heartbreaker package he's done. Yeah, okay. Like, there's a Street King. Yeah. Then there was obviously King and all that, but like, that yeah. was the same second yeah. package. And I'm like, oh, okay. Like, it's a Wednesday night. The boys are there with me. I've got the videos, I've got the photos. I go, all right. Um, I guess listen. Just, I go, how do I do a burnout? Like, I didn't even know how to do a real drive. Taught me everything. He goes, I've taken a bit of power out. He goes, all you got to do, shift flight goes on the dash, change gears. He goes, you get to the end, you pull the parachute. Can't be hard. 
All right, sweet. And then me and Ryan McGambino, we had a bet that day. Because his car, his first ever pass racing was 890. And Amp goes, fast, Ash, Ashraf's going to beat you. He goes, no way in the world is going to beat me on his first time in a GDR. It's all-wheel drive. Yeah. I go, if I win, you owe me 10 grand. He goes, done. My first ever hit, let go of that butter. I go, ooh. Pull <laughs> second, pull third, 880, 160. No oh, way. Spewing. So Ryan made me 10. He never paid it. <laughs> 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 so that was my first pass. Wow. I come back. That's fast, man. Come back, scream. I didn't put the parachute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about it because I was too busy trying to hold the steering wheel. You do. I remember the first time I did, it and you know, you do forget to pull the parachute no, the, guy, the first time. Excited. I, I, yeah, you too G. I never yeah. pulled the parachute to the last pass. The guy would kick me out because you're never gonna come back here if you stop. You gotta get to pull the parachute. So I went back and done his checks. You know, Ev, that, that's me there racing. Now I feel like a lot of people won't know the meaning behind the plates. I do. I'm, we all do. Oh, look, I tell everyone. That tell Kul, everyone. Kul Khara means have a nice day. <laughs> but, but really, what does it mean? It reads eat shit. There you go, guys. Yeah, eat shit so in Arabic. If yeah, you look at the photo, of, yeah. the hashtag of Motuk's racing page was uh, Rami ate khara. That means he ate <laughs> shit. <laughs> um, so then I went. Is there a video of. I'll show you. I'll put the video of my run. Yeah. I went 880, 860, 850, and then 840. Well, I got 840. Is this all on the same night or not? Same no? night. Wednesday night. Wow. wow. So, okay, so you keep feeding power into it. So, yeah, you so it. I went 840 at 165. <laughs> It's good, eh? And I'm like, ever since then I've been eights. <laughs> <laughs> Not much this, has changed. This is the run. <laughs> and you see the background, F say 848, but he knew it's going to go. So he's screaming 848. He knows it's going to go 848. Came back, oh, drove the car home, like on top of the world. And then it's gone for sale. Two weeks later. <laughs> I've now you've got an eight second car. It's worth money. And back then, that, yeah, yeah. That what I sold that car was like 190,000. <coughs> Fuck. Cheap, that, that was like the record for R32. No, that's, 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 that's big money. money. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot of money back then. 190,000. I remember, I remember that car coming up for sale. And it, was, it was a well-known car. Especially the, once it run the number. The best part about that car was like, I did all that, raced it, finished it, broke transfer cases, broke a head. <laughs> fixed it all and still made money on it. That's oh. what I knew. I could race cars with the help of having a good shop like Amp to look after you and make money. Nick, so if it's, it's got a boy right. Nick Minute. Nick Minute. <laughs> <laughs> At that same time, I bought the orange Die Hard oh, R32. Have you seen this car? No, I haven't. Do you have a photo of the orange car? So I'll this is the, our- I want to tell you the story about this orange car. Okay. He used to mock me. About not having a flaw in my car. Oh, right? he, ha- he hasn't shut up about it. Where is it? Where's the? F- hey, do you have photos of that? Yeah. Come on, bro. The orange car. That's the car. No, 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 no. <laughs> where's the photo of me in the boot, man? Like, can I you say? Look, at, it really had a sticker on the side saying "Die Hard." Yeah. Die Hard. What is? This? Is that a GDST? That's a GDR. That, GDR. that right now is my purple car. No that's, way. That's, that's the called car. Cutter. That's the so, new. That's Cutter V2. Yeah. We were eating um, a barbecue at Nader's house, watching Origin. I was, this is like five years ago, now, six years ago. That car came out for sale. I bought it for 48,000. Where did it come up for sale now? Marketplace? Uh, Facebook, yeah. 48,000. <coughs> what, as a roller? Yeah, as no, a... running eights. It ran 880. No Fuck. way. So turbo 400, cage 3.2, uh, GDX 45 turbo. Bro. Wow. It, it was up for sale for 80. I got him down to 48 grand. I go to my mate, let's go buy this Hell. car now. <laughs> So me and my mate went and bought the car, blah, blah. He says, what's your plans with it? I go, we'll figure it out. All right, I got an amp. All right, listen, what we're going to do, I'm just going to give it a quick midnight purple paint job and just freshen up the engine. <laughs> Five years later. Every part, if you OMA, show, show every video, OME part that you could buy brand new. Five years later, this is the car. A bit of work has got involved, thanks to straight concept garage and hot cars. Dinner, three point two, auto. I'm glad we took the ones. Yeah, yeah. Stereo, seven by tens in the rear. That, that, beautiful. That doesn't do it justice. That's probably the hottest eight second car I've seen. If you <laughs> literally every part that you could buy, every night brand and night in that new. car, I bought brand new. Wow. Yeah, like everything. Because you can't that sell or- that car. Can <laughs> that, that orange car. That car you can't sell. Can you? Well, no, because then I lose money. You can't yeah, sell. Come then on, you can't bro. sell it. Come on. Uh, 
it opens off as over fun. If it runs, <laughs> if it runs sevens, uh, it's running a fuck seven. <laughs> so, but in that that took five years. That was a, a, on the side because we ended up going all out from just a freshen up. Yeah. Like it just. At what point did you say that's it? I want to go all out on it. The point where the billet motor went in, <laughs> and then the big turbo went on, and. You gotta remember the setup I've done now. What size turbo you have on it at the moment? Uh, Precision. 91? I don't know. I think it's 91. I think so. And Amph t- told me about it, I remember, I put it on four years ago. Yeah, okay. So it was a setup that King 32 had running low sevens back then wow. when they were running sevens. So I did it at that same time. Yep. Except it got finished now. Why is that? Oh, it was just a delayed process car. Like everything <laughs> took ages, wheels, paint, trim. I wanted everything perfect, finding parts. And I wanted everything factory, like every rubber, nut and bolt factory. Yeah. And in, the, in that time, I had other cars. So I bought a Supra. <laughs> That's when I realized two J's aren't for me. <laughs> Isn't that, uh, what's his name, Supra now? No. It's at Rigoli's. Isn't George a Supra? No, no, that's another car. Oh, you, you own that too, though, there? No. You didn't? No. Oh, okay. So this Supra, I went to take, I went to the racing with no, it. No, that Supra, that, that's our fifth own that, didn't Yes, that's our fifth. Ah, okay. okay. Yep. But the engine that's meant to go in it, the cast engine that they want to go, or they went all out in, is in my 2J, in my ah. 180 SX. Ah. Have you seen his 180? Yeah, he wants to see it. Seen it on the dyno, <laughs> So I bought a Supra. Made 300 horsepower, tuned by Shane T, took the Shane T tune out, put a Matuk tune in it, went to the track, kind of took off. No good. Just ran out of fuel on the start line. <laughs> Do we have a video of that? The best is when, yeah, we've got that video, yeah. The car bunny hopping? Um, <coughs> you, you might know this story, I said it the other day. So I had forgot how to race, it was my second time now. So this is the second time into the track. So Amph staged me up, I got two, um, Bulb things. And I'm just sitting there. 30 seconds, 40 seconds. <laughs> I have opens the door. Goes, what the fuck are you waiting for? Because the light's not working. I was waiting. For, like, I thought it does it for you. Like, it goes green. Like, apparently, I have to go forward. <laughs> so I'm just sitting there waiting. <laughs> and Ev's losing his shit. Cars are fading. <laughs> and I gave up on that car. Sold it. Um, and yeah. Wow. So that basically everything I do is revolved around selling. Or buy whether it's watches, boats, cars, you name it. There's no sentimental value. No, no, uh, there's no attachment. There's no to attachment. Nothing. Not like there's not that, that one car that you have. I that. was attached to the Rolls, the Phantom. I okay. had it for so ten years. That and was made, the car. To me, that car was like opening a coffee shop. Yeah, okay. It was so a business. It was a business. Yeah. That's why I didn't care much. Like it was a coffee shop. Every week it worked. Yeah. But from where it started to what it got to, it just was like. I didn't want to sell it. Car was never for sale. We just mm. sat there. Then Peter rang me. He's, I want to buy a car, <laughs> oh, but I want to buy your Rolls. But I go. Ended up doing a deal. I'm like, if you want, take it. Mm. Um, there you go. Made some money. You did. So that was. So that's. that's, that's, that's I, I, I think other other than cars, what people know you for. I think you like to thrash people online, and people <laughs> like to oh, give look, it back I, to you I, at the same I, time, I, don't I, they? I am known so to feel, be the biggest smartass. Yeah. The, since I was three years old. You give it, but at the same time, you you, you got to cop it. You got to cop it, yeah. and, and and that's why when there's an opportunity to give it back, like to my him. birthdays. Yeah. Have you not seen the videos? Like Everyone I is I like, to, I've, do we have? Are there some of those videos? Well, now the, the, we this see? is some of the, the the birthday, happy birthday, uh, and you, you've wishes that there's he got. a rumor. I don't, I'm, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. You've been, you've been married. <laughs> you've been married before as well. Yeah, what well, you haven't seen it? No, I've just been told stories. I haven't seen. Oh, you haven't seen the marriage? No, no. I think uh, a lot of the viewers have asked previously <laughs> about the marriage. Really? No one's. Oh, yeah. can, we, can we play? That was a beautiful that moment. Do you even have the video? Were you there? I was like, Did you, you go? Yeah, we were all there. Great oh, wedding. you're a full yeah. piece of shit, yeah. you dog. Oh, oh, no way. I wonder where, where was this? That. Where, where were you? Destination ready. <laughs> can you walk us through this? Like, typically, how, we how walk through. You? Oh, that's cute, man. <laughs> how are you feeling? Oh, oh look oh, at wow. that. Look at the matching suit spot. We normally walk through the cars Gosh. going down the race. I'm track. actually getting teary. That's cute. That's awesome. Like man. we're not here to judge. Nah. You know. Well, that's not me. If you have, is that really? Look, look at how happy. It. Look that's how, not me. How, look how happy he looks. No, no. Oh. Ashraf. That is not me. Ashraf, stop. I'm not bald. Come on. Stop. <laughs> Please stop. 
What's his What's his name? The Jaeger. <laughs> 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 but you know what, bro? It's my, not, there's not a lot of supporters this guy. <laughs> my, my auntie rang my wife and said, Hey, Laura, does Andrew hang out with gay guys? I swear to God. Man, I... <laughs> I cop that, that looks that, that looks like you, I but it is him. It, can't, it, 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 it looks like it's him. Do you I know how many messages wow. and that, the I internet cop? lit up? Wow. Whoever now found that video, it. And George Curry, I'm pretty sure, found that video. No, 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 no. Tony Grigich found that video. No, George Curry, and then Tony yeah. dropped it. No, George Curry dropped it. Oh, George Curry put it on Facebook. So yes. Tony Grigich, I've got to get it yes. back. Yeah. Uh huh. Tony, you're never taking off. It's. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh no. I was actually talking to Tony oh, on no. the way here. He's uh, he's coming out on Friday. Oh nice. Yeah, um, nice. Watch him do sixty foot then after that. Video. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what a beautiful moment. There's yeah, a few other. Stop me. There's a few other videos that we want to play. What videos do you want to play? Well, you know, we we all know that you you train every day. Oh, how do you get this? I feel like this is going to be a bit of payback for this, uh, you know, your shit talking you've done in the past. I'm yeah. excited now. Here we go. And look, he trains hard. He does. Kick he, back he and relax, hard. people. He's been maintaining. So Where's this? So this is in the gym. How did you get that video? <laughs> Ah <laughs> oh, shit! I've never done a uh, jump box bro. thing. Like well, you can tell. <laughs> you know, Rami made one. The, uh, he's on the full like stunned, like uh, Rami uh, made one. I could have walked for three days. My knee was fucked. <laughs> Rami was made actually. one of that with the Mario Kart song. You know, blue. Did, did. <laughs> <laughs> and it was another. Yeah, he made. Oh, it was the funniest. But how man. did you get that video? Because oh, that person's look, copping karma too. We asked people to send videos through last time, um, and, and they're coming in. I hope that's all you got. I know. There's another one. No, there's another one. What but about the, the one in the pit? At, yeah, yeah. Oh, at Matuk's house. This is at yeah. Matuk's house. I, I, I don't know how this happened. Well, who the so who, fuck where's takes this a, house? Yeah, who takes a who puts a hole in the floor? Who takes a drain out? So Ash what is, mean, Ash is walking. So you say Ash walks in. I'm walking. I fall in the drain. Am <laughs> 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 How did you not see that? Like you didn't see it. <laughs> no, no. I'll tell you what's funny. I walked in and out the backyard three times, and nothing happened. That was the fourth time I walked in. No out. way. So, you, oh so I God. missed it every time. Now I can see why you didn't last at Macca's. Uh, yeah, yes. yeah, I told you. <laughs> There's the incident, incident reports. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but who the fuck, ta- his drain is a tile. Who the fuck <coughs> takes the tile off when people are over in the middle of a backyard? Good point. Who's the builder? Anthony Matur. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we, had a, we had a few little birthday dinners for him on the weekend. And yeah. then we had a little one at George's with all of us. And there was a few uh, birthday songs sung for him. Who the fuck saved the birthday ones? <coughs> nah, no one's got anything saved. What are you talking about? Yeah, look, there's... Have we got the, the, the happy birthdays? No, we don't. Oh, you fucking dog. <laughs> I can't hear the song. <laughs> Lucky you can't Who hear let the dogs out? <laughs> that was, that was one of the songs. There was another one that had like an Indian theme going. Oh no way! So you're getting thrashed. Yeah. Well, like, birthday, man. We, we we have it that every year my <laughs> birthday, I have to cop it because oh, yeah. of what I do for everyone else. This is true. But and I accept it one day a year. But <laughs> one day a year. Let me tell you, when whoever thrashes me, I know them <laughs> down, and I make a folder. You got a hit list, huh? Zayda's scared and he's scared. <laughs> the only reason why I went hard this year is because I already know he's got ammunition for me. Yeah. So you thought, fuck it. I'll Regardless, yeah, I'm you're copping it. Yeah, you're cop it anyway. My birthday, I'm copping it. Yeah. So Anthony oh. talk deletes me on his birthday on Facebook. <laughs> I've noticed that actually. Yeah, he blocks uh, and deletes. I shouldn't do that. I've noticed well. that. Yeah, but I still post it on my wall. We're not the same people. I've got yeah. leverage, so I get left alone. Do you? Yeah. Oh. What's the leverage? Oh, for What's the leverage? You can't say it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we get left alone here. Yeah. I've just remembered something. Mm. On our last week, oh, the last podcast we've done, how many views did we have to get? A thousand? Five thousand for his toe. Five, what, what, what are we up to? Seven thousand. No. no. Seven thousand, two hundred and twenty. <laughs> huh? He didn't get the pedicure. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 what are we up to? No, no. Let's, on, just, let's check the numbers. Oh, who cares no. what we're up to? Let's just do it. No, no, no. no. We've got to check the numbers. No, no, no. If they, all right, we've got to, all we'll right. have to hit that number. It's not, not you guys got to watch it because we need to see it. 5,000. Oh, right. 2K. 2K. Okay. Right. 3,000 right. more views, guys. Come right. on. No, but that's only on one platform. What if people watch that on Facebook? We've got to add the pluses. That's all right. We said YouTube, so yeah. we'll get it up no, there. No. Oh, yeah. okay. Let's get it up there so we, we can get that. 5,000 views can on you, that. Can you uh, 
bump it. Yeah, yeah. We will, we will, we will. We'll buy some uh, logs. How does that work though with the views? Does well, if it, we get is 5,000, you show your time. VIPs? Uh, VIPs. Yeah, VIPs. What do you think, George's? IP address? <laughs> What do you mean? That's a good like question. When, when, when you get a view on your Is it IP YouTube? address or the same guy can view it five times? I don't know. Because if that's the case, I'm just going to view it or not. Well, you've been there for a while. I don't know. I, don't I, care. I honestly so, don't know. I don't know. Oh, right, guys, just before <coughs> we finish off, I just want to note if anyone's got any cars for sale. <laughs> I'm sure you do. DM us. Well, what, what do we got in the background? Because like every week, we obviously bring cars and put them in well, the background. Right to, now, to we've show. got a rare 22 BSTI. Yeah. Which belongs to RHM on my right. That's right there. Yeah. Um it's also for sale. Is it for sale? It's it's look. <laughs> it's not. But anything's for sale. That's right. For the right money. For sure. I like that. So yeah. yes. So that's a twenty two B. Twenty two B. Yep. It's been a um one owner car with a full service history. It's a car that I've always wanted for a very long time. My why? uncle you, you, I'll tell you why. So my uncle one of my uncles in New Zealand, he owned <coughs> he owned a twenty two B when I was when Is I was this a the kid. actor? Yes, this is this yeah. is him. Do you know who his uncle is? No. Jake the Musk. Who's that? Once Warriors. Tim Awada Morrison. He's uh, Django Fett and Boba Fett in Star Wars. Who the hell is Jake the Musk? He's, he's, serious? You've never seen, he's too young for Once you Warriors. You haven't seen Once Warriors. Is that it? What about you? Once Warriors. You know, cook the man some eggs. Ever heard that saying? Something well, for you to Google then. That's crazy. No, I'm anyway, yeah. what's this? He's in Star Wars what's too. His name? He's in Star Wars. And what else? Django? Did you say? S St he's uh, plays Django Fett and Boba Fett in Star Wars. Yeah. Isn't that a game, Django? A card? Jenga. Jenga is the <laughs> the tower. The tower. Yeah, yeah. The tower. I knew what's Tell what your uncle's name. Tim Weta Morrison. So, yeah. Huh? Tim Weta Morrison. Tim Weta Morrison. How do you spell Tim Weta? T E M U R E A. How the hell does that say Tim Wet Morrison? Tim Wet. <laughs> That's just how it's pronounced, man. That's how it's pronounced. He's, he's T E M U E A. T E M Timu Timu Tim write write it for us Timu E R A we just copy and paste it's easier <laughs> what are you gonna copy and paste it for so I can see it on YouTube all right <laughs> anyway anyway yeah, yeah. anyway so M U R A put your phone down mate. E A so he um he owned one when I was a kid twenty two B twenty two B okay and a half. you know he, he was the uncle that always had all the cool cars yeah you know so um, what he did he make money from acting yeah he's yeah, done yeah, he's done very well he's done well way eh? because well, you're well. in Star Wars yeah. yeah. He's been, is that your been uncle? A, yeah, that's him. Is that your uncle? Show me. Uncle, yeah. He's been in a lot of movies. Show me his face. Jake the Musk, bro. What are you talking yeah. about? Hey, who the fuck's Jake? Well, just, it's like one of them. It's, 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 an, it's, like, it's an iconic It's an iconic Aussie. Even Australian Once movie. Was, was, he, was he in Moana? Yes, he was. Moana. Moana. He's in Moana as well. <laughs> Moana. <laughs> He's in Moana as well, yeah. He's in a lot. I wouldn't even know about him more. Does he live in <laughs> New Zealand? or? He lives in New Zealand, but he's always... He's actually here in the Gold Coast at the moment. That's mad. So, so he's a car guy. He loves his car. You should get him one, man. I should, I should. Yeah. So, yeah, so, that, yeah. so that was the car that he had and obviously you growing up. Yep, you know, yeah. got to go on it all the time. And all right, he's done a few movies. So now you've got your own? Yeah. That's yeah. sick. Yeah, so there was a stage there I was driving around for a little bit. He actually took me to, oh, he actually took me on the set to Star Wars. So I got to meet like Natalie Portman. Oh, wow. Jam Samuel Jackson, George Lucas. Oh, all these. Hugh Jackman too? Yeah, Hugh Jackman. Because they, they filmed some Star Wars in New Zealand, didn't they? Yeah, in Australia. They in actually, Australia. Yeah, they, they used the Harbour the, Bridge. They did it at... Um, <laughs> it's like you want to. The Fox Studios. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Have you opened it up? Like, how does it go? It's stocker. But how does hey, it you know what? For a 90, like 1998 car, yeah. it's quick still. Yeah. Man, they used yeah. to be so like the when, cars people got. When are you got, giving oh, up to back to The WRX. No, I'm almost touching that car. Av, sponsoring my engine. <laughs> so, yeah. I always wanted that thing, so... Nice. Got one. Nice. And then we got a... What's that, a 488 super fast? 812. 812 uh, eight, 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 super fast. 812 super fast, yeah. It's red, <coughs> that Ferrari red. Yep. It's got a full exhaust system in it, it's lowered. So that's another addition to your fleet? For sale. <laughs> <laughs> Picked it up about <coughs> 35 minutes ago on the way here. So you've just got it? Oh, it's about an hour now, yeah. And do, this, do, do, do you find yourself now that people are just calling you to buy and sell cars? Like what, look, more sell or more look, buy? A lot, of, a lot of time people do ring me and then we'll get to negotiation. They're like, why the fuck did I call you? <laughs> <laughs> but look, uh, put it out there. It's fucking the truth. I won't pay what you want yeah. ever, but I will pay and take your cut. Like, and he'll so, send you the eye emojis. So <laughs> really it's when you're... <laughs> so when you want something sold and you, most you need people, it sold. When you need something gone. Most yeah. people is, I can't be fucking dealing with the time wasted. I can't be fucking... This is true. So they'll just sell me the car for cheaper. Yep. 
and then easier i'll go do my work no headache i've done them. deals with ashraf purely because he sends those eye emojis no talking <laughs> we talk like this is how it works with this bloke right you sit there and you'll be talking to him two nights prior you're having a chat whatever hey sell me this for whatever blah blah you haven't it. it's just talking about it and then two days later he'll send you a random message with just eyes <laughs> <laughs> and you know what he's talking about everyone right? knows the eyes yeah everyone you knows. know that he's like, referring to yeah. that conversation from two nights earlier it's like what's up <laughs> yeah question what's for it? you what, i've got a question for you yeah because you got you've obviously owned so many cars are you like you know for me for some cars a lot of there's a few cars you know i'll get excited for do you get excited for cars now no. you know you're, you're numb now aren't you nothing excites me there's got to be is there a car out you there or is there any cars I, I coming you, that I you're excited you, for i'll tell you what excites me tell me a fast GDR. Actually? When I jump in the 32 and I race it, I get excited. Or when I jump in the 34. Yeah. Okay, I, had, I bought that 34 with the 35 engine with the Elden sequential. Yeah. Something that has 1,200, 1,500, 1,600. Like my wanted a 32 GDR when I had it. Yeah. Something with that much power and <coughs> you can, it, give, it scares you, I like so, okay, if so, it's not scary, I don't like it. So if this, when you pick that spray, like, were you excited? Oh, no, no, no. Not really. It's but purely I, just but when I you. pick up, example, when Precision finishes a twin turbo Lambo for me, yeah, that has 1,500 horsepower and goes over 180 mile. You're excited for that. I get excited because I know how fast I carry the street. you appreciate what it is. <clears throat> no, no, I appreciate everything for yeah. what they are. Yeah. Like I you, just, yeah. Nothing goes to me like, oh, wow. <clears throat> yeah. Because you've driven them all now. His yeah. biggest thing that he appreciates the most. Is a Taraga. Is a Taraga. I was just going to. Yeah. Really? He loves Tarago. 1984. So if anyone... <coughs> if anyone's got a silver 88 Tarago with the red velour red. with the twin roofs, <laughs> the please DM us. You're not he joking. You're actually being serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, wow. I, I've been oh. driving a Tarago for the last five months. Why? Why Taragos? Oh, it's just a joke. It ended up... It started off as a joke. And but, then I was at the set of lights... And, off Edgar Street, I look left and there's a Tarago for sale. With NDIS. <laughs> I've got a video right? of you doing a burner, really? isn't that? <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah. And then I made the <laughs> offer. He laughed at me. And then three days later, because he copped a lot of the time wasters, he rang me. He goes, hey, Tony. I go, yeah. He goes, you want the Tarago? I go, yes. Yes. I drove there in a 34 Ford radio. I left that there to the Tarago. <laughs> <laughs> no joke. Oh, shit. And then I drove it for like four or <coughs> five months. Radio ran out. I sold it. Made money. And now I'm looking at another one. Wow. So for those of you that are watching, we need a 88 Tarago. Silver, red, velour, inside, twin roof with an overdrive. Find we, it. We definitely want that. That's one. a connector. Like that car, a park yeah. on the hoist up we, there. We definitely need the <laughs> one with the um, glass roof just yeah, to replicate man. the stars. Like Forget the fake <laughs> stars. We want the real stars. Yeah, we'll take it yeah. to the farm. We're not, you think we're wrong? <laughs> but yeah, like if anyone's got anything to sell by... Let us know. So we got, we, got, we got some um, <coughs> plans and stuff that we're trying to put into the works to try and maybe do some reviews on some of these awesome cars that you have, you know, when they come and go. Would, and would the viewers like yeah. to see that stuff? I don't know. Yeah, yeah like know. We're, we're planning on doing private track days where we can test circuit straight line review it'd be like top gear but the lebanese version <laughs> yeah <laughs> top gear of or Sydney. the jeepo yeah. version the yeah. top gear of wish <laughs> yeah that's it we've probably better cars than so top how's, gear. how's this yeah. gonna work the viewers will nominate the well cars they can that, or what, whatever or cars we, we what have we at the time <coughs> between us all we've always got something yeah we were mm. thinking like and we'll take something out do a review supercars mm. jdm cars old classic cars that, maybe there's, taragos there's such a yeah. maybe they want to see the taragos yeah. like getting driven down the for track for example knows? we've got a porsche it's a fucking 96 model but it's got 500 horsepower you want to test how that car will go? That'd be cool. That'd be, that'd be really yeah. cool. 345 Spider <laughs> with an exhaust on it. Uh, Mirad, yeah. look at the laptop. That's something that's... Oh, we forgot about this. Oh, what is this? So th this is another one of his shenanigans, right? This wasn't a shenanigan. <laughs> yes, it was. I'll, I'll tell you the story what? behind For, this. <coughs> tell us what kind of car it was first. This is a M4 CSL. Yep. It's only 25... Is that you? Are you Santa? Yes. There's 25 in the country, M4 CSLs. My mate has one. Um, we've seen overseas in Christmas, people put Christmas lights on their car. And he owns a PPF shop, so he's got the car PPF. He goes, we can put Christmas lights in a Christmas tree and go for a drive. So what we've done, as you can see, <laughs> stick it up the car with Christmas lights, went through the city, 
it was, it was pretty cool. You know what? I remember the video now coming out on Christmas. You guys dropped that video. Yeah. Well, not last year, the year before? <laughs> no, last year. Last was it last year? year? So I remember seeing that. We, we went, dressed the Santas. We yeah. dressed up as Santa. We went for a drive. And what happened was, because it was holidays and all that, there was heaps of kids out. And everyone wanted photos of me and my mate. Because we were Santa. <laughs> so we spent the whole night driving around the city. Or we park up. You've done a good deed. Luna Park. You've made, you've made Taking a photos of kids good dressed work. as Santa. As yeah. you can see, our outfits while we're driving. And you didn't get pulled over? Not once. <laughs> so there's Black Santa. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that's good. So that's some of the craziest shit that is done in some I like it was, pretty it was, rare cars. But it was a good <laughs> deed. We made kids happy. You did. You've done, you, you've done a good deed. So we thought this year, I'll do it again. What are you going to do on? I don't know. Can we give, can we give the viewers an, an, op- an input in... What if you guys have a suggestion of yeah. what car it we can use. should be like a Pagani or something. Get I don't Pagani. own a Pagani. <laughs> <laughs> but We're not I, there yet. If I do, do you have any cool cars coming that, like, you know, maybe you're not to share with everyone? There, oh, there's, yeah. oh, there's, <laughs> none. there's a few. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing? No, not at all. No. <laughs> we can't give anyone, like, you know, can't give us. Uh, a I'm building hints. an RX3. That's, that, that I'm actually excited for. Okay. There was another thing. That, that, you that. Know, you can't talk about that? No. <laughs> I think that needs its own. That's that's my RX3. It's it's getting built. RX3. So that's at Pack Performance now. They're doing the whole build. You keeping this one or no? Yeah, I like the wheels. I'm doing it. Like, Can I just put it out there? You, the motor that's going in that car is the X Pack Two. Is that the one that took your tire? The green car. No. No. Oh, oh, okay. So you remember we talking about his seven second RX3? Yeah. yeah. The so the running gear out of that is in oh. that. Except I'm going sequential with a paddle shift. Oh, that's sick. Which they've never done a paddle shift twenty B. That's sick. So that's so I'm mean. loving this moustache, honestly. But you know what? It suits you. I like <laughs> it, it does. I think it actually suits you. You got like a, like a, a pawnster? Super trooper, <laughs> yeah, like yeah, an American yeah, cop. Yeah, yeah, the guy thinks you know, like the American cops, like the super troopers? Yeah. Uh, hello, hello, the guy thinks it's a pawnster. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> It looks like Humpty Dumpty. Third Have you finished? Yeah. So <laughs> this Christmas, you're going to be doing something what a outrageous up. again. This is the That's the plan. <laughs> okay. But if someone's got an idea of what car we can use, throw it, we'll see if it's there. Yeah. Well, but how about... I know what car back, it's going to Just be. backtrack on that. Uh, you, what do you reckon of this idea? Because I know we've been brainstorming it amongst each other. You, you, you weren't here earlier, but... Of course it's not here, so fuck it. We're thinking about piggybacking a track hire, circuit track hire, and taking some of these cars and... Doing some reviews on them and give some labs. Our, give everyone our personal opinion. Give everyone our personal opinion. Yeah. Line them all up in yeah. a straight line, race them against each other. Oh, well, look, we'll need to get the track's approval to actually be able to walk on the track while we're racing and recording and all that. It's a process, but if we get it ahead- I don't think you're going to be walking on the track while you're racing. Yeah, well, yeah, you're gonna, someone's going to stand there to record. Where are you going to record from the grandstand? Yes. No, no, the, no, no, no. GoPro inside the car. No, It's not like everyone's racing on you the track. You want to do it like- be, be, It's a kind of controlled environment. You need so. to do it like car well, where you have two cars, people talking, you've got someone outside recording. It's easy. Like, mm. it, it's it's process, but we've got to get through yeah, 100%. it. Yeah, 100%. But it's true. before we go waste our time, is everyone interested in something like that? Yeah, that's true. Put in the, in like the everyone, comment section. All you have to do is just transfer guys... 500 every week <laughs> to subscribe and we're good. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Speaking of subscribing, like and subscribe the page, guys. Yes. Because let's get the following up All so the we support can helps. get this out there. And, and we need to show Zeta stuff. <laughs> and all it takes is just uh-huh. a click. That's right. You know, just but it does help. Down there. Is it down there? And we'll stay tuned you on Ramama's new build comments. that no one knows about. Which one's that one? Can't tell. You. I can't give too so much. So, how about for our next episode? Hmm. I think maybe we haven't done this in a while, but give the viewers an opportunity to comment on who they want here. Who they want here? Yeah, yeah, we'll bring someone in. I reckon it's a good fucking idea. So right? if we say right, our next podcast is two weeks in, from today. We we know that, but let's. <laughs> well, you said that our next podcast on the seventh of August, right? <coughs> so oh, if I'm we say here. that people have got until the second Friday, the second, so not this Friday, the following Friday. No, I give them to the fifth. The fifth doesn't give us much time to bring on who they want. As in to tell us who they want to bring on? Yeah. Oh, I think it would have to be the episode after. Because if, yeah, if, even if they just tell us now. Just tell you, us you, now you can, and we can make a well, list. Depending yeah. on who it is, the yeah, number yeah. of people that, that yeah. come the most. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. We'll that's pick idea. them. But yeah. we're not, we're not, and we've got another episode also that we need to get out of the way and that's the, the story of RHM that we haven't covered as, as we've covered all of ours, so... That's, that'll be an interesting one. We'd like to know. So after that, we just found out that he's been on a Star Wars set. So there's some interesting shit going on. Have you? 
I have. We just fucking. Were you just like, listening? He was too busy on his phone. He's got dementia. Google. He's too busy on, thinking on, about on. fucking porn. No, no, yeah. he, 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 was, he was googling his name. I know he's Tim. Yeah, I was googling you, Tim Morrison. Tim Morrison. Tim Morrison. Guys, been on Star Wars. The next, next. That's right with Pamela Sue something. Anderson. No. I've actually been at his house before and Pamela Anderson's actually called. Fuck off. I swear to God, because they've done a film together. It's called Barbed Wire. <coughs> I told you Pamela Anderson, no, no, no. no one believed me. Do you me. really? Yeah. What is, what is it? He's, he's in the bathtub with us. Like, as a kid, like, no way. Oh, that's yeah, uncle. Pamela Anderson's in that movie. Yes. It's fucking chat. And, uh, it's yeah, a chat movie. Yeah, oh, yeah, well, it's probably, didn't you know, break any records, yeah, but, yeah, you know. Yeah. Nonetheless, so, he's so, done a, he's so, done a movie was with their face on back So how much? No, I remember being there. She called. What's going on here? So how does their... How's... How do they determine their income? How good like they are. an actor, is it based on the it's um, whatever they pay them, right? What? Revenue or is it? Oh, that's that's a good question. I've never, I've never, asked, never asked, but them. I know that are you they joking. Get, that's the first thing I think. How much do you make? I, yeah, but, <laughs> but I, I, I know, like for instance, Star Wars, they'll he'll get paid a set amount, yeah, and then he gets paid royalties. Royalties. So every time that movie is played, yeah, yeah, they he 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 gets a. You know, percentage. It's like Seinfeld. The, Seinfeld, yeah, so they've made whenever more Whenever movie's played, he, he, out of you're royalties. constantly just getting money. Yeah, that's Coming right. in non-stop. So Every yeah. time that movie's So why don't we become actors? Yeah. Like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> it. It's the only yeah. way. I'll take his other toe off as acting. And then obviously, you know, you go around and you do your signings and all that. You're getting paid for that at yeah, the same yeah. time too. But um, yeah, I guess the more movies you I know, think there is probably the, certain celebrities out there that... Make, that dictate what they want for sure. So yeah, like at, a, at a certain Denzel level. Denzel Washington. Yeah, shit like that. Will like, Smith. Love that bloke. <coughs> so yeah, so we got a few options, but yeah, that's definitely one that we'll we'll, we'll need to cross off, and then we can go from there. Oh, there's uh, there's we're getting pointed at over here. Oh, uh, why are you pointing at us? What's AI generated. Like maybe maybe when you when we're about to wrap up, we show them that image. That's right. Yeah, we'll end. leave that. We'll leave that. Well, well, well I think we're about to wrap up. Me with no clothes on. <coughs> this is. We're about to wrap up. So I think we'll leave. Work. We'll leave this. We will, and uh, yeah. we've got a big weekend coming up because we've got State of Origin ro at Roll Racing. Yes. Good luck, Romanos. Yeah. Thank I you. heard you coming for the kill. You made twenty three fifty. Let's go. Twenty five fifty. Yeah. I use the gas. Six hundred shot this time. Are you feeling confident? I look. Yeah. He choked on his chicken half an hour ago. <laughs> nah, look, if the, if the car performs, though, we'll, we'll do well. And you yeah, got. Yeah, like, you know, there's some big cars, so, but it's going to be a great events either way. We're so. rooting for you all, mate. It's going to be an interesting yep. one. Yeah. You How guys are, got a we, few cars coming out of the stable? We do. I think there's seven, at least <coughs> seven cars. Wow. Four 34s, no, five 34s, two 32s. Who the fuck's five 34s? Yeah. They all come in, mate. Wow. Did everyone know there was five getting built? Oh, the same. And then, and then we've, got, <coughs> we've also got the that's Street 20 track hire this Friday. Yeah, yeah, Street 20 Friday track well. hire. I'm going yeah. to come down and watch. Yeah. You've got a couple of B2R cars or a B2R that's entered. Eddie, he's gone? Yes. And that, that car should be quick. Mark King car. Mark's oh, yeah, I was speaking King. to him yesterday. He told me he was going to try to get a spot. Did he enter? He, yeah. Yes, he's racing. Yeah, right. we'll go down and waste him. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, should be, should be he good. told me. That car should be quick if he can drive. Oh, he told me he's on the phone yesterday. What did he tell you? Here we go. He go. what's your aim? He goes, bro, I want to get sevens. I go, yeah. He goes, what did Romanos run? I go, I think 764. He goes, I just want to go 763. That's it. That's what he wants to do. <laughs> really? Yeah. He goes, I just always, want to always, you know, a good rivalry. He goes, I just want to beat Morris? Romanos. And if he comes out and beats me, then I'll come back out again. 32 or 34? 32, 32 and a half. Okay. Two MK number plates are. <coughs> Make, nice. To be honest with you, that car should be running in low sevens. If not, you're a shit driver, Mark. <laughs> oh. oh. We might have to kick him out. Whoa. Didn't okay, he lose to you at roll racing? Yeah, twice, three times maybe. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> little digs. Yeah, well, you got some. You got some good competition um, this weekend. Oh, this man, it's going to be. Yeah. There's some big cars coming out. It's going to be tough. Coming. You're lucky I'm not coming. I am uh, very lucky. Shit. I've not, never been to a roll race. What time? Have, have you not been? <coughs> is it Wanker? Never. What time is your straight twenty? Because I'm getting phone calls from people asking me, is it twelve to six? It's ten till four, mate. It's ten to four. It's, okay. There's a post online. Okay, but what's the point of this? Because by the time this is posted, the straight twenty day is over. No, it's not. We, it can, we can post this tomorrow. If we wanted to. That's not we're not. Well anyway, guys. Street twenty you guys do you guys run these street twenty events all the time though, aren't you? <coughs> oh we got we've got seventh uh, and eighth of ninth and tenth of August. Ninth of tenth. Enter me now, I'm racing. Yeah, I, I know this. Enter me now, I'll I'm enter. racing. I, I wanna wait till Friday and then enter. Why? Because you never know. Just, even if you PB you gotta come back out. I think they're already. And sold if you don't PB, anyway. you gotta come back out. What do you mean I they're sold out? What are you talking about, Zoe? The ninth and tenth. Zoe, it's getting serious. Hi guys, <laughs> I'm ready to go. And this was big drums. On that note, let's uh, see this last 
Bro, don't but, show uh, him. I don't want to see them with my clothes. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Of Ash. And and just in case. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> This way you need to play some music in the wow. background and just let it unfold while we get up and leave. And, ju- and, <laughs> and, and just on that note as well, you know, you got four or five 34s coming out, but I'm not sure if you've seen, but um, someone's just put a message out to say that all 34s are on notice. That was, yeah, it was very cute. That. Yeah, it was. It was, it, cute, it, was, it was really cute. Yeah, so 34s, everyone's on notice. They're all on notice. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so scared. What are we going to do? I don't know if he's know. <laughs> yeah. My mate Andrew's dad is actually building a 34. No, you're not. Really? Proline up building the, the engine for it. Fucking no. Uh, IB and everything. That's, so he's wow. there, you see the light. It's about it's fucking time. I'm happy. He, he actually didn't want anyone to know. And he just said, "Just I want to come out. Well, guess what, Zayda? You're on notice as well, Neil. Yep. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Good luck, Zayda. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck to me. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, thank, thank you for tuning in. We'll leave it at that. That was good. That was a lot of pleasure. Talking. Oh, thank you. I'm sick of my Bye-bye. voice. Yeah. See you.